Just beer reviews, James Boggs, premium like. James Boggs Premium Lager now comes in this green bottle. Um, it's 375 ml, so you're not getting ripped off just because it says premium on the bottle. So you're getting your 375 ml. Um, it's 5% ABV, so it's like 1.5 standard drink. So you're getting uh, a little bit extra for your buck. Now, this beer, people, I've heard people say this is too dear. Dan Murphy, if you ever want to try it, um, at the moment they're around like 38 bucks a carton. You know, it's really not much more than two years and four, it's bitter. Um, I had a couple last night, but um, I'm, I like to see the colour in the glass um, because, like I said, I've got a carton of it, so the green bottle has been protected. It's no, that's why there's no skunk to these beers. So let's uh, crack her open. Ages ago, I reviewed the Bulgs Draft, I liked it. Um, then I started drinking more Forex bitter because um, uh, the bulk stuff is actually dearer than this. So, it, how's that work? But anyway, it's a pretty popular beer up here in northern New South Wales. I don't know if they use adjuncts. I imagine that would. But um, maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But, you know, for $38, $39 a carton, these adjuncts wouldn't blame them. Okay, well, it's a light golden appearance. Um, you've got uh, some bubbles, bigger bubbles streaming up. You've got one finger of um, head. Uh, it's white. Um, the smell. It reminds me, it's a Bulgs beer. It's a uh, like a mineral clean water smell. With some, with some hops. And it's... Yeah, you know, it's malt, like slight malt aroma. Right, uh, let's get into it. I just had some pizza. I'm very thirsty. Cheers. That hits the spot straight up. Uh, give me a lacing there too. Now, it's a light tasting beer. It's not, I don't believe it's bittered with, um, most Australian lags are Prada Ringwood bittered. I believe this isn't Prada Ringwood. Uh, I think it's the class of Europar lager, so they're using some, I don't know, some kind of noble hop for bittering, I'd say. It's got a light, medium, or medium sweetness to it. Um, a light body. It's crisp as a chip. Uh, it's finishes uh, dry. Probably about 75% dry. Um, this goes down easy. It feels like you, it's good for you. That's what it feels like when you drink it. There's no real lingering aftertaste. You can t you can tell it's um, the hops. That noble hops a bit different to like prior ringwood, um, but. That's not a bad thing. It's you know, still lace in that glass there. The head's hanging around. Like I've been drinking a lot of Mexican beers, and you know, Mexican Mexican beers are pretty expensive. But this is this is shitloads better. It's from for like a, a big for a big macro beer. It's actually one of the better ones. I think it's about seventy two or something on Beer Advocate. But I think a lot of people get it. Probably get these, uh, especially overseas. The beer gets over there, it's been exposed a lot, it's sitting out there by itself, and they get skunked and go feral. But if you can get a carton of it, and it's pretty fresh, this carton, because it sells so good up here where I am, I imagine it sells everywhere else pretty well. Um, I think it's just if you want to treat yourself, in, like I said, it's only 38 bucks a carton for it. It's cheaper than Bulbs Draft. I don't know how that works. Before I go, before I do the rating, um, it's got a light bitterness to it. Uh, but it does, yeah, you can tell it's not probably more bitter, it's totally different, but it's such a good quaffer, good session beer, I just had some pizza and this is, and it's actually pretty warm today, so this is a treat. But anyway, um, a score for James Bowles Premium Lager. <laughs> you got to see, how refreshing does that picture look, eh? Hey, you're hot, you're sweaty, you've been mowing the lawn, or doing something the missus told you to do. Want a cold beer? This goes all right, pretty good. Now, score 
I just think it's um, a good beer for what it is. I'm happy to give it a B plus. It's um, it's a lot better than some other beers, hands down better than Heineken and all that. The shit compared to this. So B plus for James Bulgs. Premium Lager. Okay, thanks for watching this episode, Jez Beer Reviews. Till next time, take care, have a good weekend, I'll see you all later.